everybody, it's Bob Boob. All right, this dorky guy here is Bob Boob. Hey, I'm doing a quick video tour here of 926, 928 Grove with a G lit. Grover from Sesame Street, you remember him? But Grove, Grove Street then. So here I'm looking at the property. It's a brick, two-story, nice residential neighborhood here. But it, it's a double, so we got a left and a right side there, hence why two addresses. Asphalt driveway here, two-car garage here in the back. And uh, you can see it. Let me stand back here once. This place is huge. A big place, isn't it? All right, so now currently as I'm recording this, the right side of the 926 is actually vacant. You're going to see that here in a second. The 928 side is occupied with a tenant. It's been there for a while. I have some still... <coughs> excuse me, coughing here. I have some still pictures of that online I can supply to you. I'm not going to actually do the video uh, in that unit there, but I'll show you here inside. Okay, hold on a second, guys. Okay, walking. Oh, do you hear the echo? Echo, echo, echo. All right, <laughs> I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? I'm having fun here showing you guys this house, this property here. Okay, so big room. You can see <coughs> freshly painted, beautiful wood floors here. Oh, size-wise, I'm going to probably say 6, 12. You're probably 14, 15 across. Kind of big, big square right here. Of course, there's a square behind the camera, huh? Me. Big dining room area. You can see lots of windows right in here. This is the southern side of the property, so getting lots of sunlight in here. Matter of fact, the power's not on here, actually, as I'm doing this video, and this is all the natural lighting coming in the property. And we walk in. You can see the kitchen had some remodeling work in big windows. But they kept, you know, they kept the old stuff. So this is a built-in, you know, cabinet here. So it's got the uh, old uh, woodwork. So that's really cool. But then as we spin here, sorry, I don't want to give you a vertigo. You can see they've added some new cabinets there, sink. Of course, there's the stove. Because originally, this place was just this. It was just what they call like a pantry kitchen. But So they left that. So we go, what do we got? What do they call that? Eclectic. We're keeping some of the old with some of the new, that sort of thing, but a lot of storage space. I thought this could also make a good spot if somebody wanted to add a, a half bathroom because on the other unit, like this house has, or this side I should say, has one full bath, which I'll show you in a second, but the other side actually has a bath downstairs and a bath upstairs. So that one actually has two full baths, but they took this space on the other side and made that into a bathroom. Now let's see what else here to show you. So there's a back room here. So this is like a nice storage or mudroom area. I suppose that could be maybe worked in that bath too. But um, you know what? I'm right here by the back door. Let me push pause. Let me show you the backyard here quick. Hold on, guys. Okay, so this is that two-car garage that was showed you a little bit earlier. Here's a gate that you can get into the backyard area. And so here you have separate meters for your electric, separate meters. I think this has... Uh, you know what? I can't remember what the heat is in. I better not tell you wrong on that but it's a fenced in backyard area here now here we're coming around to that other side there's some goodies here that are the tenants but here this is all fenced in so i suppose if you have kids or pets or you just don't want anybody in your yard it's all fenced in for you let's take a look here that's the yard area garage door and Okay, so you can see there, and again, just this, this place just huge. Patio up there too, then good for repelling. Just kidding, kids. If you're watching this video, do not do that. That's bad. All right, hold on, guys. Okay, so now I'm up on the second floor here. The steps coming in from that dining room. <coughs> when I come up, you got bedrooms down towards the left, or what would that be west, and then towards the east, you got a bedroom and a bathroom. So let me show you this first. While I'm walking here now. Typically, I see two type of buyers for a double size bedroom. <clears throat> the one I see is an investor who is just going to rent both properties out or both sides out, and that's fine. Three bedroom rental market is very strong in Williamsport, PA, getting good, good rents. I would say most three bedrooms. Well, I have a couple three bedrooms myself in Williamsport, and they're all bringing anywhere from $850 to about $1,100 a month. And that's what the tenants paying their own utilities. But the other buyer that I see is somebody who lives in one unit and rents out the other unit, which is part of the reason the owner was keeping this vacant because this is the kind of property you could buy it, use one of the 
special financing programs out there. And if you need help with that, so you get two closets in here. Well, actually one closet, I shouldn't say. And then that other one's that. Let's see if I can open that while we're recording. There's that balcony that I told the kids they should not repel off then. But I've seen people enclose these too and they'll make them walk in closets and different things can be done there accordingly. But uh, anyhow, if you need information, sorry, that was loud. <coughs> Big attic up there with lots of storage floored. If you need help with the financing programs, um, just reach out to me. There's a, there's a lot of them as of this recording. There's some that will help you with your down payment, your closing cost. Now you can see the bathroom is remodeled. It's got full shower, got your throne, and then they snuck in a little 18 inch uh, sink here. And there's some goofy guys been following me around the whole video tour. So let me think, okay, I pause. I won't be able to show you the basement. What I'm gonna do when I get done recording, I'm gonna take some pictures down there in the basement with my flash. And I'll have those online to show you the heating system and that kind of stuff. But if this is a property that you have interest in, or maybe like a list of, you know, properties that are for sale, you know, please reach out to me. You can text me anytime. Bob Boob. Yep, that's really my name. Um, I'd be honored to work with you for your real estate needs. Okay, have a great day then. Thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye.